Welcome to the online tutorial of features and functionalities of the new Panasonic TGP600 SIP phone system. In this course, you'll learn some of the most used features and is designed to make you feel comfortable using your phone quickly and efficiently. This is your main menu. You'll be able to return to this menu at any time during the course by pressing the menu button on the top left of the presentation. Here, you'll be able to jump to any particular topic. To continue through the topics one after another, you can just press the continue button when it appears at the end of each slide. Looking at the TGP600 base unit, you'll see an LED status indicator. And on the right hand side, a locator button. By pressing it, you can locate a misplaced handset or desk phone by paging it. Pressing the button again will stop the paging. The locator button is also used when registering a cordless handset or desk set to the base unit. When everything is operational, the green LED will be lit. And when in use, the green light will flash. Please take a moment to look at the table for a description of what each color means. Let's continue with the basics for the cordless handset. There is a ringer and a charge indicator. In standby mode, the indicator shows the charging status. If an incoming call arrives, the indicator blinks rapidly. The indicator will blink slowly if there is a missed call or a new voice message. The talk and speakerphone key is used to make or answer calls or toggle between receiver mode and hands-free mode during a conversation. Here is your main display. The navigator key includes four arrow keys and a center key. The arrow keys are used to adjust the ringer or receiver volume, or move the cursor to select an item. The center key is used to confirm a selection. If in standby mode, press in the keys perform the following functions. Left, used to display the incoming call log. Up, used to adjust the ringer volume. Right, used to open the phone book. Down, used to display the outgoing call log. Center, used to display the menu. There are three soft keys. They are used to select the item displayed on the bottom line of the display. When talking, pressing the hold key will place a call on hold. In standby mode, pressing this key will play your voice messages. The asterisk key is used to put the handset in silent mode. Simply press and hold it for more than two seconds in standby mode to toggle silent mode on and off. The line key is used to confirm the line status of the VoIP server. The power cancel key is used to end calls, exit the phone book, or function mode. Pressing and holding this key will turn the handset on or off. The transfer or clear key is used to transfer a call to another party or to clear digits or characters. Pressing the function key followed by the keypad number from 0 to 9 allows you to perform various common functions quickly. The receiver and microphone are located here and the speaker is located at the back. There is also a headset jack on the left side. And you have a similar set of keys for the desk phone. Please take a moment to review them. And let's take a closer look at the display screen. Some of the main items are 
the signal strength indicator on the top left, the battery level indicator on the top right. This one applies only to the cordless handset and not the desk set. The voice message icon on the top middle, the handset or desk phone number, silent mode or ringer off mode, the date and time, the extension name and number, and the soft keys. These three soft keys change depending on what menu you're in. Please take a moment to read the descriptions of the icons you might see on the display. The installation and setup of your new Panasonic TGP600 phone system is quite easy. Let's start off with the base unit, the KXTGP600. The box contains the base unit itself, an AC power adapter, and an Ethernet cable. Please position the base unit in a centralized location, then connect the AC adapter, and then connect the Ethernet cable to your network, which can normally be either a network switch or a router. The box also contains a cordless handset and a charging cradle. Simply plug in the charging base to the wall with the other AC adapter, then install the included rechargeable batteries. If you want, you can attach the belt clip to the back of the cordless phone. Then charge the phone for a good 6 hours before use. For the cordless desk phone, simply attach the stand to the desk phone by inserting the stand into the hooks located in the unit. Then gently rotate the stand in the direction indicated until it is released. Then push the push marks in the direction indicated with both hands and tilt the stand until it becomes fixed in the desired position. Then attach the AC adapter, corded handset, easy registration. Each cordless handset and cordless desk phone needs to be registered to the base unit. To register a phone to the base, you simply press and hold the locator button on the base unit. Keeping the locator button pressed, you then press and hold the OK soft key on the phone for a few seconds. Once you see please wait on the display, you may release. A few seconds later, you will see registered on the display. You can register a handset to up to four base units, and a base unit can have up to eight handsets. If you press the middle soft key or the center navigation key, the main and sub menus are displayed. While in standby mode, you will see Income and log, ringer volume, new phone book, setting handset, system settings, and memo alarm. While off hook or during a conversation, pressing the menu button will give you phone book, new phone book, outgoing log, Incoming log, mute, the line key can be used either to seize a line in order to make or receive a call, or used as a function key. In standby mode, press the line key to display the line list. Here, you can access the eight lines. The color of each line indicates the status of the line or the status of the function assigned to the key. The icon displayed on the next line shows the status. Handset functions can be activated through the display key list. In standby mode or during a conversation, press the function key to display the function key list. You can redial the last dialed number. You can display and or set call forwarding and do not disturb. 
you can establish a multi-party conversation with conference. You can set auto answer for incoming calls in hands-free mode. Flash recall disconnects the current call and allows you to make another call without hanging up. You can make a call using the incoming call log, the outgoing call log, or the phone book. Call park is used to park or retrieve a call in a preset parking zone. And paging makes a voice announcement to the handsets or the desk phones simultaneously. For those systems that have more than one handset, it is recommended to name each handset to avoid confusion. For example, front desk, copy room, warehouse, etc. To name your handset, go to Menu and Setting Handset. Scroll down to Display Option and Handset Name. Type in the name you wish to have for this phone and press OK. Under Menu, Setting Handset, Display Option, and Standby Display, you can select to have either the handset name, its phone number, or both displayed on the main screen. You can lock all the keys other than the navigator key while the handset is in standby mode. You simply need to press the menu or center navigator key for more than two seconds to lock the phone. An icon of a key will appear on the middle soft key. To unlock the phone, simply press that key soft key or the center navigator key for more than two seconds. If you wish to set a password, press menu, then using the arrow keys, select setting handset and press OK. Then scroll to other option and press OK. Then scroll to change password and press OK. Then enter a four digit password using the keypad. And then re enter the password. Then you must select the lock mode, whether you want to lock the phone manually or have it lock automatically after X amount of seconds, and whether or not you want it password protected. So you would press menu. Then scroll to Setting Handset and press OK. Then scroll to Key Option and press OK. Then scroll to Key Lock Type and press OK. Here, you can select either Manual, Manual and Password, Auto, or Auto and Password. To make a call, simply dial the number you are trying to reach. When dialing, to correct a digit, you may press the clear key to correct a digit at any time. Once dialed, simply pick up the handset or the desk set, or press call on the cordless handset. Intercom calls are calls made between handsets. In standby mode, press menu, then the intercom soft key, then scroll through the list and select the desired handset. Then press OK to make the call. In hands-free mode, you can talk and hear the other party in a conversation without using the handset. This mode is useful for performing other tasks during a conversation, such as writing. To go in hands-free mode, simply press the speakerphone button 
either before the call or during the call. Pressing the speakerphone button again will end the call. You can put a call on hold by holding the call at your extension. During a call, press the hold key to place a call on hold. To release the hold, press hold again. Mute will allow you to disable the microphone to consult privately with others in the room. You will be able to hear the other party, but the other party cannot hear you. During a call, press the mute key to mute the call. Press the blinking mute again to unmute the call. To adjust the ringer volume, press the menu button in standby mode. Using the arrow keys, navigate to Ringer Volume, then press OK. Use the up and down arrow keys to select the desired Ringer Volume, then press OK. Silent Mode turns off the ringer when calls are received. This can be useful in situations where you do not want to be disturbed, such as during a meeting. When silent mode is active, the ringer volume, ring on charge, auto answer, and the key tone are all turned off, regardless of their settings. To set or cancel silent mode on either your handset or desk set, press and hold the asterisk key for more than two seconds. In standby mode, you can display the incoming call log by pressing the left arrow, then scroll down to incoming call, then press OK. To display the outgoing call log, press the down arrow key. Then, from either the incoming call log or the outgoing call log, you can press the call button to call that party, or press enter to save that number in your phone book or delete it. You can transfer a call to another destination, either another extension or an outside party. Press the transfer key while you are on an active call. This places your first call on hold and allows you to dial the number of the party you wish to transfer the call to. Wait until the other party answers to announce the transfer. Then hang up. You can also do a blind transfer where you do not announce to the other party of the transfer. During a call, press the blind soft key. Dial the party you want to transfer to then press the call soft key. During a conversation, you can add an additional party to your call and establish a conference call. Press the function key and either scroll down or press 5 for conference. This will put your first caller on hold and allow you to dial the number of the second party you want to add to the conversation. Once you've entered the number, press the call soft key. Then press the conference soft key to connect all parties to the conference. You can have incoming calls automatically forwarded to another destination. 
You can also have incoming calls rejected. Do not disturb. To access the forward Do Not Disturb settings, press the function key in standby mode. Scroll down to or press the number 2 to select forward Do Not Disturb. If the unit has multiple lines, press the up or down arrow keys to select the desired line. Otherwise, you'll see the following choices. DND for Do Not Disturb. If enabled, all incoming calls are automatically rejected. Forward All. If enabled, all incoming calls are forwarded to a pre-programmed number. Forward Busy. If enabled, all incoming calls are forwarded only when your extension is in use. Forward NA or No Answer. If enabled, all incoming calls are forwarded if you do not answer the call within a certain amount of time. You can change the ringer settings for incoming calls for both external calls and internal calls. Simply press the menu button, select setting handset, select incoming option, then select ringer type. Here, you can choose the ringer tone for external or internal calls. The phone book is used to create a directory of names that are frequently called. You can store up to 500 name and numbers in the handset or desk phone. You can also set unique ring patterns for different categories to identify incoming calls. All phone book items are stored in alphabetical order. And, for security purposes, you can lock the phone book. This demonstration will go through the necessary steps to create a new entry in your phone book. In standby mode, press menu, then select new phone book, then press OK. Enter the name using the keypad, then select OK. You can press the clear key at any time to delete a character. Select a phone number type from 1 to 5, then press OK. Enter the phone number, then press OK. Then press the Save Soft key. You can access the phone book at any time from the standby screen. Just press the left Soft key, then type the first few letters of the name you're looking for and press OK. And to lock the phone book, press the phone book soft key for more than two seconds. To unlock the phone book, press that same phone book soft key for more than two seconds. If a password is set, you would need to enter the password. For more information on setting up a password, see the locking the phone section. You can access these instructions by going back to the menu and choosing Locking the Phone. And here are the optional items available that are compatible with the TGP600 cordless phone system. And this concludes the online tutorial for the Panasonic TGP600. Thank you for your participation and for choosing Panasonic.